button here. Oh. This is Lorna Smith, and that's me. And the gentleman at the back on the second is called Brian Danville, and he's a charming young man. He's a charming older man now. But through the years, he's written regularly to Judy. He, he would write these letters. And, he, and Gary told me he still has a whole pile of letters. She wrote back, like, Judy Garland Hollywood on the, on the envelope in a, her embossed paper. So they had a long friendship through the years, not just in the times that, um, that Judy was there. So well, all we got, uh, LPs and this one, and so we immersed ourselves in these LPs when they came out. And then finally, um, in 1957, she was touring and we heard she was coming back to England. Now, Sid was not too enthusiastic about this because they had Gordon Jenkins with them and about 10 dancing boys, a lot of costumes and a couple of nursemaids for the two children that they had. And, and it, this was going to be very expensive to come over by boat. And he tried everything under the sun. But luckily or unluckily for the horse, um, <laughs> uh, the horse was injured or died or whatever, and he got 30,000 um, insurance money, and they had enough money. This is how their life went from one nightmare on financial disaster to another. Anyway, we're here, and I've got stories to tell about Alan King and Lana Turner, but later I will... So when, again, she went to Roger Edens and she said, I want a song, I, I, I'm so grateful to the English people, I, I want a song to thank them about coming back. And he wrote the song, of course, and, and what do we have here? Oh, this is at the press reception, that's Gordon Jenkins, and, and this is the program. And, and then um, there's Vaudeville Acts, Alan King, the curtains open, and what do we see? We see Judy in this white skirt sitting on the floor, on the ground, and the dancing boys all round her, singing about the many falls in history, but the most fantastic, you know, the greatest fall of all was when Judy Garland fell on the stage at the Palladium. <laughs> and this is again her sense of humor. She's laughing at herself. And of course, everybody loved her for this. So they get her up, and, and, and the boys go away, and she sings this. I mean, look at that, you know? She sings, uh, and four days before she recorded this, and she had a copy made for everybody in the stalls. I mean, I don't know whether she paid for it or Capitol Records, um, uh, that they gave, it was given away as a gift. I was in the dress circle, but I had a friend, and there was lines outside, and they were three deep on either side and at the back, standing room. And he managed to get one, which he gave me, and so. Um, now we'll hear the song, and John has another version. Mm -hmm. 